As I wanted to extend my retro lab, it became imminent to eventually install a network. But not just any network, but an old Ethernet based network, for which I was looking around for some older network gear. Let's start with this device, which is the Allied Telesis MR122T. This is basically an Ethernet repeater, which can bridge between the 10 base T and 10 base 2 networks. It has some nice features built in, like an auto termination for the 10 base 2 segment, so you wouldn't need to use a T connector with the 8 ohms resistor. I won't be going into all the gritty details today, as I just got this at my hands. For today, checking if it works, at least from an electrical point of view, and giving it some cleaning is good enough. So I'm just wiring up to the mains and plug in an RJ45 Ethernet cable to see if I get some life out of the device. Oh well, that looks okay for the moment, so it's not totally dead and I can hopefully make use of it soon. Then I also got these two switches, which are slightly more modern. For the more recent gear I just need some more Ethernet ports, so basically some dumb switches are perfectly sufficient. The first one is this Netgear FS108, an 8 port fast Ethernet switch. Once cleaned, it too looks ok from a layer 2 signalling point of view. The second one is the Netgear ProSafe GS116, which comes with 16 gigabit Ethernet ports. This may sound like a lot, but believe me, with the many systems I have to wire up, the more ports I have, the better it is. And so, I'm really delighted to find that here as well the ports seem to be ok from a layer 2 perspective. Of course, this was no thorough testing at all, but rather a brief dead or alive inspection. As mentioned earlier this year in the behind the scenes video, I didn't install yet the network into the museum. But with this equipment at hand, I'm now ready to go for that venture. I'm the vintage collector and this was my short advent time story for today. Thanks for watching and see you again tomorrow. If you check out this channel's community tab, you'll find some polls on potential upcoming videos. You're very welcome to upvote on upcoming topics or drop in new ones you'd like me to chase down.